That always freaks people out a lot. <laughs> Especially my guitar friends. Welcome back guys, we're gonna be playing Despacito by, I hope I said these names right, Louis Fonzi, Daddy Yankee, and I'm actually going to be teaching you guys the Justin Bieber remix, mainly because, well, A, it seems to be super popular, and B, I don't speak any Spanish at all. I never took Spanish in school, I actually took German instead, so the English version is really gonna help me out. I'm gonna teach this intro part, and then the chords and some awesome strumming and then some little kind of like rhythm picking patterns that I think you guys will really like. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial. strumming and all of that great stuff, we are going to just attack the intro head on. I know this is going to be where some people kind of split. There's going to be people that want to learn this part. There's going to be people that don't want to learn this part because either they just don't want to or they might feel intimidated. If you feel intimidated by this part because it is very fast, don't feel intimidated. And I know that's easier said than done. But if you're in this group and I'm going to call you guys out, if you're somebody who would honestly love to be able to play it but you're just intimidated because it seems like it's hard. Yeah, it's hard at first, but you have to practice it. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this part. I'm gonna break it down step by step and play it very slow for you guys so you can follow along. And I will give you guys some tips on how to practice it and how to up your speed. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with our index finger here on the seventh fret. And you're going to be barring the bottom three strings. And it's going to sound like this. So it's already your first part. If you're already familiar with bar chords and you have a pretty good handle on them, you might find this pretty easy. If not, don't feel discouraged. All it takes is some practice. Just make sure you're pressing down on all of those strings at the same time. Now from here, we are going to take our pinky finger because it's the most outward finger over here because we need to reach over to the 10th fret because we're going to be doing this. So we're on the 10th fret with our pinky finger high E string. Then we're gonna walk it down with our ring finger ninth fret. Then we're gonna go back to the 7th fret with our index finger still only on that high E string and we're going to be going from the 7th fret to the 6th fret back up to the 7th. So we're going to pick it once and then twice. So I'll show you once again really slow. But this is a part that you want to get down really fast, so you want it to sound more like... So taking it really slow, this is what we have so far for our first part. So from here, we are going to begin our second section. So we are going to now go back to barring the 7th fret bottom 3 strings again, just like this. But now we're gonna go ahead and take our ring finger to the ninth fret, pinky finger 10th. Then what I like to do is just slide up two frets to the 12th. So let's go back. From here, I find it's easiest to just go ahead and skip over with my middle finger here on the 14th fret. So right before, basically, where it starts getting all up in here. And we're going to be picking that high E string. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just pull over with my ring finger to the B string on the 15th fret. And now this little baby section is gonna sound like this. One more time. Now we'll do that whole second section again. So 
So this brings us to the end of our second section. So our third section is gonna be over here and it's a bunch of really awesome slides that sound like this. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of start from here. And what I like to do is I like to just slide on over and I'm not touching the strings, I'm just sliding over and I'm landing with my middle finger here on the ninth fret and I am on the G string. And this string is gonna get picked right away, but you're gonna slide up to the 11th fret and carry that note up there, but the notes obviously it's gonna change because it's sliding. And it sounds so awesome. So then I'm gonna go ahead and land my index finger here on the 10th fret high E string. So that combination will sound like this. So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove my index finger since I'm not gonna be using it anymore. And we're gonna go ahead and use the same G string that we're on, starting at the 11th fret now. We're gonna pick and slide down back to the ninth. And then land with our middle finger on that high E string. Then we're gonna go ahead and slide down once more to the 7th fret, same combination, with that ring finger on the high E string. So this intro section is played really, really fast, and I know that something a lot of you are really going to want to be able to build on is that speed. But make sure that before you attack the speed, that you really focus on accuracy. Accuracy is way more important than speed. Remember, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And you wanna make sure that everything comes out sounding nice and clean. Really define those notes. And then work on your speed. And what I recommend doing is just starting at a pace that is comfortable for you and then slowly challenging yourself by just upping the speed just little by little by little. Practice it consistently every day. You can fit it in even if it's just 10 to 15 minutes. I swear to you, if you keep on this every day, this will be like a piece of cake. Look, I get it, it seems hard. It's a different style of guitar that you might not be used to. It's, it's like Spanish style guitar and I am definitely not fluent in Spanish or any type of classical type of guitar or finger style. That's just not what I play. But I decided to just try something different. I mean, I've played some like solos and like riffs and things like that before, but this was a little bit of a challenge for me even because it's very fast and it's just a different style of guitar that I don't play. But I decided to take on the challenge myself and work at it and practice it and I just knew that if I spent some time on it, I would pick it up and you can do the same. All right, all we have left is chords and strumming. So we're gonna go over chords first. We have just four of them in this entire song that repeat over and over and over again, super easy. Let's go ahead and jump into a close up. Our first chord up is a B minor. Our next chord is a G major. Then we have a D major. And our final chord is an A major. All right, so now that we got chords out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and jump into strumming patterns and where is my pick? There it is. No, no. I have two strumming patterns for you guys and then a really easy kind of like just rhythm picking pattern. So the first pattern we're going to start with is the easiest one. It's four down strums per chord and then after each strum, you're going to mute it. So it's gonna sound like this. the G major as an example. So what you don't want to do is let it ring out like this. You want to just kill it right away. So so what I do to get that effect is right after I strum, I come back with the side of my palm and I just hit down on the strings to mute the sound. Now this second pattern might be a little tricky for some of you at first. So if you are not feeling up to this pattern yet, but you want to play the song, feel free to substitute in something a little bit easier. But this pattern is going to sound like this. <laughs> using that during the chorus. Because this pattern is a little bit more complex, I wanna give you guys a close up and I'm just gonna play it a little bit slower than normal and then we'll just break it down step by step and then I'll just play the chords together. 
So I'll just use the G major as an example. We have down, up, mute, down, up, mute, down, down, up. And of course the muting is done just like the other strumming pattern with the side of the palm. And you're just gonna come back and mute the strings. And now when we play it up to pace with the entire chord progression, it's going to sound like this. Alright, so those are my examples for strumming. Feel free to mix it up and change it and do whatever you think fits best for you. This is just what I like to do when I play the song. Now I'm going to show you guys this really awesome, really easy picking pattern that just you can use for the verse. I really like to do it for the verse. I think it sounds really cool. So we're just going to take this chord by chord. You're going to need both your thumb and index finger to pick both strings. And starting off with our B minor, we're going to be picking both the A and high E strings at the same time. And when you were picking these strings, you just kind of want to slightly pull away from the guitar. For the G major, we're going to be picking both E strings, so the two outer strings. For the D major, we are going to be picking both the D and high E strings. And then our final chord is an A major, and we are going to be picking both the A and B strings. So the fifth and second strings together. And keep in mind that you don't actually have to build the chords to do this picking pattern. You can just press down on the strings that are solely being used. But if you're a beginner, you might find it really helpful to make the actual chord shapes to just kind of help keep you in with the sequence of the chord progression as the song goes on because you might be switching from chords to strumming and that might be something that kind of helps keep you guided. So it's just something that you have the option to do and there is no right or wrong way. So now that we know how to pick our chords, we are going to be putting this pattern together, but for it to sound complete, we have to add a little bit of something in there because this just kind of, I don't know, for Despacito, it just kind of sounds plain. So what I like to do is I like to just add in a mute and it sounds really cool. So this is how I play the pattern. So just by adding a little bit of a mute in there, just by kind of slapping the guitar a little bit too in the more hollow regions, it's just going to sound really, really cool and it just gives you kind of a percussive twist on the pattern. So I actually start on the mute, which I know seems odd, but I want my beat to come in before I start strumming. So even though there's nothing to mute there, I want this beat. That's what I'm looking for. So we're gonna start on it and then I'll come in with the pick, you'll see. And just so you guys know, each chord is being picked four times. and get into a playthrough of the song. I'm gonna try my best at the Spanish parts. I might just not sing. Also, real quick before we begin, I asked you guys both on Instagram and Twitter to guess what this tutorial was going to be and two of you guessed Despacito first. So here is our Instagram winner and our Twitter winner. Congratulations on being the first people to guess Despacito. I'm gonna do more features like this in the future. I think it's really fun to do, so make sure you're following me both on Instagram and Twitter because this could be you in the future. You never know. Come on over in my direction. So thankful for that. It's such a blessing. Yeah, turn every situation into heaven. Yeah. Oh, you are my sunrise. 
runs on the darkest day Got me feeling some kind of way Make me want to savor every moment Slowly, slowly You let me tell me love how you put it on Got the only key now when I turn it on Waiting in below my ear The only words I want to hear Baby, take it slow so we can last long Despacito by Louis Fonzi, Daddy Yankee, and of course this is the Justin Bieber remix, but they're pretty much very, very similar. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I had a lot of fun breaking the song down for you guys and dipping into a little bit of, you know, Spanish. I learned something new. I definitely learned something new, a little bit of Spanish guitar. And I also think it's really cool learning a song in a different language. Like I said, I didn't take Spanish in school, but I did take German, and I always had fun just listening to German songs and trying to translate them and figure them out. And But I have to say it was fun doing a song in Spanish, even though I don't really know any Spanish at all, but I know that despacito means slowly, so I'm learning. I'm starting to learn. But if you guys have any cool song suggestions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and maybe it will make it into a future tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And I don't know why I did the thumbs up thing. The subscribe thing is not the thumbs up. The thumbs up is, is liking the video if you liked it. And then subscribe if you'd like to see more guitar tutorials from my channel. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go. We are celebrating my dad's birthday today and I'm really hungry and I'm gonna go downstairs and get some awesome food. All right guys, have an awesome day. Bye. <laughs>